Delaney Walker and the 2019 tight ends coming at you right after the bumper. All right, guys, welcome back. So hope everybody had a blessed holiday. Today we're covering the 2019 tight ends. So we know 2018, we were riddled with injuries. Delaney went down week one. John who missed the end of the season, right when he started to get into that breakout era. So we know we have the departure of Luke Stalker. And as a community, the overall tight ends finished with just over 800 yards, just under 70 receptions, and seven total TDs. So look for that to go up this year, especially with uh, our new OC, Arthur Smith, our previous tight ends coach. So he's going to know these players better than anybody in the system, and I think he's going to definitely utilize that going into this upcoming season, guys. But let's go ahead. Let's cover the, 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 the man himself. Let's get into Laney Walker. All right, guys, let's get it kicked off, starting with Delaney Walker. So we already know last season he broke his ankle in that gruesome injury and missed pretty much the entire season. He played week one and went down against the Dolphins in the most long game of the ever. But uh, he's going to come back. I think he's going to be full bore by week one. And if you ever listen to Delaney actually talk and the kind of guy he is, he has that Conor McGregor mentality. It's him against the world. He is number one at everything. And he thinks he's the best tight end in the league, and he's going to work until he gets back there. His nutrition has always been on point, and that's why he's been able to stay relatively healthy this late into his career, going into his 14th season. But he's only 750 yards away from being the all-time leader as a receiver for the Titans slash Oilers from Frank Whitecheck. And he's broken 800 yards in four of the last five seasons. So I feel like he's going to be around that 800-yard range in this upcoming season. And if he retires after this year, wouldn't be surprised. But I don't think he's going to. I don't think this is the end of Delaney Walker's career. And look for him next season as well. But let's go ahead. Let's hop, in, hop into the, the little Delaney Walker, John U. Smith. And let's get it started. All right, guys. Next, we got Jonu Smith, who is basically Delaney's clone. Coming out of college, Delaney Walker was his pro comp. He's 6'3", 250. They're relatively the same in size. He's a little bit shorter than most tight ends of the leagues nowadays, but he's very explosive. I would like to see him become more of a hands catcher. He does catch a lot of balls off his body, and that could hinder him as far as drops going up into this upcoming season. Uh, I look for this third year out of him. He steadily improved from his rookie to sophomore year, and we started to see that breakout last year right before he went down. I think this being his third year, this is when tight ends usually catch on, and this could be the breakout for him. He did finish with over 200 yards last year. I look for that to get up to that 450, potentially 500 yards. So with our upgraded in the receiving core, we know he might just be the forgotten piece on the offense. People might not strategize for him, and he can sneak out into coverage and we know if he gets into open space he has some burners he can get up and get out into that end zone so look for that this upcoming season guys well let's go ahead let's hop into the next one let's go to Anthony Ferkser all right guys next we got Anthony Ferkser undrafted free agent out of Harvard last year for us came onto the field after all the, the injuries riddled the Titans and caught everything that went his way he caught 19 passes off 20 targets which is pretty bonkers and he adjusts his body very well to the ball in the air and he catches it with his hands he's got strong hands he's a little bit smaller he's 6'2 245 ish uh coming out of harvard he was kind of that typical h-back the move tied in or a potential fullback which we need a fullback this year it looks like david flew and might do it but virtually does have that option as well he does need to improve as a blocker he is just a move tight end, I believe, off right now. He really needs to refine that blocking technique. But if he does that this offseason, I think he's going to be the third tight end we keep this year. We'll see how it all breaks down, but he's my pick as of now, guys. But let's go ahead. Let's hop into number four. Let's go Miko Pru. All right, guys, next we got Miko Pruitt. Entered his sixth season into the league. We acquired him last season through free agency, and he did some stuff for us out of the receiving game. He does have really good hands. I don't believe they're as good as Ferkser's, but I believe he's more athletically gifted than Ferkser is. But I believe Ferkser is a better football player. I really think those two are going to be competing for that third spot. I don't think we're going to keep a fourth, uh, but we'll see how it breaks down. 
I believe Pruitt might be the more gifted athlete, but he does round off a lot of routes and he's very inconsistent in the blocking. I believe blocking is where it's going to boil down to. Whoever shows the most in camp is probably going to get that nod, but we'll see how it breaks down, guys. All right, guys, there you have it. That's my overall breakdown of the 2019 Titans tight ends and my overall predictions. Let me know down in the comments below if you like Pruitt better, if you think Delaney's going to be back full healthy, or if you'd like us to bring in somebody who potentially have free agency after the roster start getting trimmed out, guys. But let me know down below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.